glory bless the lord we thank you lord father we thank you daddy we worship your name may your name be glorified lord jesus in the mighty name of jesus christ i bless everyone watching me online if you are privileged to see this video i want us to know that um god has a program for this country and the purpose and plan of god for this country shall stand in the mighty name of jesus christ either they like it or not the purpose of god for this country it shall stand in the mighty name of jesus christ this nation will move from glory to glory in the name of jesus christ let me tell you one thing concerning the protests the protests that is going on now and such protest this is a revolution god is involved in this god is in, inside it god is the controller of this protest and that is why i will admonish everyone to join this protest especially the youth this is our fight this is the time to fight let me tell you no freedom will come with ease there's always a pain attached to every gain there is a pain attached to every gain in life you will never gain anything in life without going through some pain that's why if we quiet we have quiet enough the youths of this country we have quiet enough citizens of this country we have quiet enough enough is enough we are not a fool anymore we are the youths this is a light signal if you if truly if you are a pastor you are a prophet evangelist apostle teacher imam sheikh let me tell you we this is not a matter of religion this is the fight of every one of us in the fight of every one of us the fight of every one of us when we are when we don't support the, this move it simply mean the cause lay on this country is is affecting you if you don't support them we they, they need our support because why these people will not desist from tormenting us squandering the treasure of this nation to their poor and their family alone i watched something on the media the least you know the, the payments being paid to a senator in this country in one month 20 something million naira in a month what is the matter who do we offend in this nation who do we offend are we here because of them and their family we also have a plan and to pay civil servants is a problem in this nation minimum wage cannot even buy a bag of rice in this country and they call themselves change fools governing us let me tell you enough is enough enough is enough this is the time to tell them that as a leader you are only half you are only a leader when you have people following you when nobody is following you you are not a leader you are a fool you are only a leader when you have people following you when nobody is following you you are a fool let me tell you even god the creator of heaven and earth is because he filled the earth he filled the heaven with some creatures that validate his omnipotency people will not believe him if there's no creator there let me tell you the people that you are ruling we that you are ruling the president of this nation or the people in government we are tired of you we don't want you anymore simple if we are the one that votes you in and we are not telling you that we don't want you then leave the stage and pack your load move down to daura we don't want you 
We don't want you. You are too sentiment. Everything is only about you. You know? We are tired. APC, we don't want you. PDP, we don't want you. All these parties, it's you people that are changing. You wear Jesse of Chelsea today, you put it down, you wear it's the same player you are buying from one club to another. So we are tired of you. We don't want you. APC, pack your load. PDP, pack your load. Any other party you, you are involved in, we don't want you anymore. Leave the stage. The youth of this country, we have come and we want to reform and we are creating another party. We may call the name anything, but it has to do with youth. But I will support Youth Alliance Party. Youth Alliance Party will be very, very good for this country. And that is the party that we are going to vote in. <laughs> this, is the, this is the party all the youth of this nation will be involved. If you are a youth and you have a card of APC, you better go and tear it. If you are a youth and you have the card of PDP, you better go and tear it. Because why? If we see you coming out for election with all these foolish ones, is simply mean the cause of the forefather, hereditary cause, is affecting us. And then we are tired of it. We are forming our own party. We are rubbishing them off the stage. We are dancing to this tune. We are following them. And then we are creating a new order of government. And may I say this? It is the, the best way to achieve our aim is through this party. I admonish all the people that are leading the protest from Aisha, Faz, Shogure, all these people and all the leaders in East States. I will admonish us, all the SUG, the Student Union government, you know, all the, all the, you know, I will admonish you. Please, let us have a meeting and let us work on this party's matter. We are creating the Youth Alliance Party. It's for everybody. That is called youth from 50 downward. Let us just limit it here. You know, by the time we have this, they will stop they, they will stop dominating us. They will not be giving us a penury the way Tinubu is doing in Lagos. You know, Godfatherism, controlling every affairs, pulling over confidence everywhere to torment us. We are tired of them. We are moving them out. So, there's a new order of things. I watched the list of how, uh, you know, Baba Wale Shoyinka placed something on net. The age that they are when, they, when this country have independence, most of them are within 30. It's only Nandi Azikwe that is 42 among all of them. Hobasanjo was young, you know, Buhari was very young. When he also became the head of nation, he was around 32 years of old, 32 years of age. When he was the head of this nation, 32 years of age. You arrived there at the youth age and you are still sitting there now, the old age. Don't you want us to also to rule? Do we offend you? You people pack your load and move. We are tired of you. So the best way is to form this party, Youth Alliance Party or whatever name, but let's involve the youth so that we know that, yes, we have it across all the nations, across all the cities, across all the towns, all the villages in this country, Nigeria. By the time we have this, we will have one voice. The second advice I will give to us, let us destroy that, you know, constitution of Nigeria. That one is not constitution. That one is nonsense. The constitution is nonsense. It's better we tear it apart. We create another one. In 1999, constitution was made by Obasanjo in to favor the government. Baba made that to favor his own government. This is not in favor of this nation not in favor of the people so we need to destroy it how can one person be collected to in something millionaire just a senator every month allowance there pa there card there what is what is the matter you have a house somewhere you have a house in lagos you have a house in abuja and yet immediately you become they will be maintaining your life till you die do we offend you 
Is he a sheep transit I do? I would not the one that he lets you. It's better you pack your load and leave the stage. We have come. We are forming a party. Youths. We are we are we are we are we are we are destroying the, the question of Nigeria. We are coming with a new constitution. You are, you want to serve us. We're supposed to pay you low if only you want to serve. The maximum money for president should be around five million naira. Or the all those senator rep around two three million naira. You want to serve us now? Should you say you want to serve us? It shall be well with us. We are no more silence. Please, I, I admonish. I, as a pastor, I support this move. I've been posting it for some weeks that I, I support this move now. And then, because what I saw is beyond NSAS, it's beyond SAS matter. It, by, by the time they split it, the NSAS is an abbreviation. So by the time it was splitted and they divide the purpose of the E, N, D, you know, I understand this is what we need in this nation. Let every pastor rise and give them support. Every prophet rise and give them support. Imam, let us give them support. Let us give the youth support. And how do we support them? They are on the streets. Whatever you can do to support them, if it's pure water you can buy, your 1,000 naira do a lot of work, 2,000 naira do a lot of work, 3,000 naira do a lot of work, 5,000 naira do a lot of work. Let us give them money. Because why? This thing is not going to come with ease, it's going to come through pains. We need to choke ourselves. We need to put ourselves under tense condition to liberate ourselves. Nobody can, can get a freedom without pains. We need, we need to go through it. We need to fight for it. So let us support them. The youth are on the streets. Let us move, move to them. Buy them pure water. Buy them food. Give them 5,000. If that's what you want. To, you, you, you have rather 3,000, 10,000, 20,000. Give them a moral support. Let them wake. Let them wake. You know, I posted something to the, uh, a day ago, yesterday, and I, and I posted this morning again that Ode Yewa arise for revolution. And I thank God I had now that the youth are on the street. I told somebody, I called somebody this morning, I'm leading this thing if they don't come out. Why? We must make it to happen everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Everybody must partake. We are tired of this bad governance. They have promised us light. 60 years, no light. 60 years, no road. It is even better if we are still under the white government than all this independence we are lying ourselves. You know, I told somebody, we have not collected independence. We don't have independence. It's our politicians that have independence. Because they can shop the money anyhow and they can run away to anywhere and nobody can sue them. And if you try to talk, they can jail you because why? They have the independence. We don't have the independence. Citizens don't have the independence. It is an error to think that we have one. We don't have. So it is better we apply wisdom and we have wake up right now. Please go to them on the streets, buy them whatever you can buy for them. Give them, if they can't buy, give them money. They know how to get it. They will go and get it anywhere. We are not fighting anybody. We are not we are not shooting gun, we're not doing this. No, it's a peaceful protest. It's a peaceful protest. We are not fighting anybody. I learned that they are you no know, some hours ago, some policemen at Abuja, they are they are, are twenty others on the protestant. Let me tell you, you will still come back and put down your uniform. You are you, you think you are serving this bad government. How much are they paying you? By the time you off your uniform when you are retiring, after retirement, you will know you are coming back to the civilian. If you are a military man, after they have used you, finish. Use you, finish. They use the best part of your life. Finish. Why you are agile? You are running up and down, serving it. Blah, 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 blah. After they use you, finish. You are putting down your uniform. You will still come back to be a civilian. So wake up and join us. Let us fight this fight. Let everybody give those youth moral support. We need your support. We need a seed from you to put them on the street. We are not going home. They will stay there on the street. Go and check what's going on in Lagos. Go and check what's going on in Nemo State. Go and check everyone going to So if anybody is traveling now, stay at home. This is not, this, this not COVID-19. This is COVID freedom. COVID freedom. So this is not 19 matter. It's COVID freedom. So, I will admonish everyone, stay where you are. If you have any ceremony to do now, do it where you are. 
no movement for now because why no freedom can come without pain i admonish us i love nigeria i pray for peace of this nation i pray for unity of this nation i pray for advancement of this nation i pray for revolution in this nation i decree and declare this nation will not be destroyed the glory of god in this nation will not be damaged the treasure of this nation both spiritual and physical will not be damaged it shall be well with us in this nation it shall be well with us it shall be well with us it shall be well with nigeria nigeria will prosper the youth of this nation shall be great the glory of god will manifest in them and so shall it be in the mighty name of jesus christ my remain my name remain the same god's oracle Bolariwa, lucas god bless you god bless nation hence us hence us and let us hand it together shalom